Hello, welcome to 3D Printonics. This tutorial covers how to set appropriate current for your NEMA 17 motors using Pololu stepper motor drivers. Our main aim is to reduce the sound of the motors as much as possible by giving appropriate current to them. It will reduce the noise, heat and increases life of motors. Remember, when you print anything other than circles and us, the printer should not make audible noise. If it is printing circular shapes, it will surely make a singing noise, which is normal and not harmful for electronics. Let's begin with some pre-calibration steps. First, make sure you grease both smooth rods and threaded rods of all the axes using bearing grease which is easily available in all automobile parts store. It is important to lubricate all the rods as even small amount of friction will affect the quality of printed parts. For the Z-axis, you must lubricate both smooth rods and threaded rods. Now, remove the filament from extruder to avoid wastage of filament during calibration. To do this, Set the temperature of extruder nozzle to 90 degrees Celsius in printer face or repeater hose and pull the filament straight upwards until it comes out completely. Make sure you don't have any foreign object stopping the movement of any of the axes. Switch off any electrical equipment like fan or motors which makes audible noise in your surroundings. In your RAMS board, you have four Polulo drivers. All four drivers have this small preset to control the amount of current to stepper motors. If you turn it clockwise, that is towards your right, it increases the current. If you turn anti-clockwise, it decreases the current. In printer face or repeater hose, click the x-axis home button. Then set the x moment for 150 mm towards right direction. Now turn the preset towards your left that is anti-clockwise direction. In printer face, click the x-axis home button again. The motor will not move. Now turn the preset by small steps in clockwise direction or towards your right. The motor will vibrate without moving and make some noise. Turn a little bit more in clockwise direction until the motor moves smoothly without making noise. Then click the x-axis home button. The motor should move smoothly without making any noise. Repeat the same steps for y-axis. Turn the preset of y-axis polylo driver in anti-clockwise direction that is towards left. Now click the y-axis home button. The motor will not move. Turn the preset a little bit in clockwise direction until the motor starts vibrating. Turn a little bit more until the motor moves smoothly and y-axis is home.
Repeat the same steps for Z axis. Click the Z axis home button in front of face. Note here that Z axis motors will make some noise due to the load on them. Now for extruder motor, turn the preset of its polyload driver towards the right until the motor moves smoothly. Due to the tight gears, the extruder motor will require a little bit more current to run and thus it will make a little noise while printing. As you can see, we have designed a small object which has straight lines in x-axis and y-axis and it has a curve. While printing, the motors will not make and should not make noise in x and y-axis but while printing the arc, it will make a singing noise.